hello welcome to tech easy good evening to everyone today in this video we'll discuss like should i switch from google assistant to google gemini ai see here right now on this phone i'm using gemini ai as the assistant and on this phone the secondary phone i'm using google assistant so when i say like hey google on my phone hey google see on this phone it is google assistant has opened and on this phone it's like hey google right now as i am recording the microphone google hey google is not working but i'll tell you the basic advantages and the comparison see when you are using uh, gemini google ai there are few things you can do a bit of uh, more actions on google gemini ai for example uh, one thing which is not there in this Google Gemini AI is to generate images. For example, when I say something like uh, generate image with monkey and lion. So on Gemini AI as your assistant, there is a chance of creating AI images. Okay. So it is not taking monkey and lion. Okay. So this option is not there on actually Google Assistant. Uh, I tried it like generate monkey images and lion images on using Google Assistant but it is giving me like web link results. See here now when I give this query Google Gemini AI created this uh, this artificial intelligence picture when I do the same on this generate image with monkey and lion see I'll show you here it is giving me this web results this is the Google Assistant not Google Gemini AI this is one of the significant uh, difference what I found and another thing is uh, there is image search see here this option is available only in this uh, Google Gemini this is not actually present in uh, Google Assistant so how this can be used you can open this and when you click on a web page or a signboard or whatever it may be for anything when you click on this attachment you can search with this uh, image for example when you are want to purchase something online you can take a picture of a laptop or a favorite dress or apparel or shoes whatever it may be in that case you can open this and you can take the picture of the product and click on this so that it will give you the search result something like this search this search this product something like that then google gemini ai will search this product actually so in this way this is an added advantage in google gemini ai and one disadvantage as of now today i observed is this will give you the voice the in laptop in the voice. image is a lenovo yoga 720 to 12 ikb it's a two i and one laptop see here actually uh, this is my lenovo idea pad and it has searched the same so in this way this image search is really useful and coming back here google gemini ai as of today it is only giving in male voice there is no option to switch between male and female voice but that is available in google assistant so if you are want to make an advanced AI shift then you can consider uh, shifting to Google Gemini AI or else you can uh, just use Google Assistant. Uh, to have this Gemini AI you need to open the Play Store and here you need to search for the Gemini app. By default uh, this Gemini app may not be available on your mobile you need to install this and you need to click on open and if this is the first time it will ask something like switch from google assistant to gemini ai you need to click on switch then whenever you say something like hey google then automatically this google gemini ai will be activated and yes you can take the decision and let me know which ai assistant you are using on your mobile it is whether it is google assistant or gemini ai and thanks for watching have a nice day